albino. Or hey, colorblind. YouTube, and uh, <laughs> welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. We're sitting here with Steven Inocente from Inocente Brewing. We have Colgate, we have the Rhino, and we have a new beer of his that's going to be filtered tomorrow. So yes. why don't you introduce the beer before we try it? Uh, well, this is a um, beer tentatively called Glance, another play on my last name, and uh, um, I just sort of wanted a mild hop flavor with a little bit of rye spiciness, so it's a it's a rye pale ale. Um, we decided to do the, uh, instead of doing a pilot batch, we just decided to do it on the big kit. So this is the first sort of wacky one-off we've done on the full, uh, the full brew house. Um, so it's pre-filtration and also pre-possible dry hopping. Um, so, uh, and it's meant to be a little bit more approachable, sort of a more sessionable lawnmower IPA, if that makes sense. Um, which I'm not so sure it does make sense. But. And, and what's your ABV on this? I think it's 4.3. 4.3? Okay. Um, uh, yeah, 4.3, about 27 IBUs. Now I need to know, what are you picking up on that? Because I'm not getting much, I'm kind of just getting a... Uh, you got a little bit of fruit, some kind of fruit. There's a little bit. <laughs> uh, I'm getting a little bit of fruit, but also, and I don't know if it's just the, the Pilsner yeast funk playing on me still, but a little bit of that, like, almost horse blanket. There's thing. still a bit of funk. I might still have oh. some of that uh, other beer in my mustache, though. We can't trust my <laughs> my sensory on these videos anymore. you got to brush your mustache now. <laughs> Grab the I mean, it, it, yeah. it, it doesn't smell That's what they call you unappealing at all. It actually smells nice, but I just wanted to know if I was just on Cheers, crack enough. Cheers, Jeff. Oh, that is nice. A little bit of hot flavor, a little bit of spice, refreshing. I'm not so sure I'm 100% satisfied with it, but it's super refreshing. I could you drink get, it. You get that spiciness and that uh, and that dryingness that rye gives off. Yes. It's actually very nice. Oh, um, it's a pretty bloody dry beer. I actually dried it a lot more than we were expecting. And a nice, and again, a, a dry, uh, emanating hot bitterness on the background. That's actually very nice and refreshing. I could see this, like your buddy said, uh, a lawnmower beer after you've been out in the sun for a while. Yeah. That's I just don't go out <coughs> in the sun. Uh, well, I try not to either. See, I burn right away. <laughs> oh, that was a great, I thought I was a great tan, yeah. <laughs> for those of us that do go out in the sun, this would be great for it. Oh, uh, true sir. Yeah, this is fantastic. Yeah, um, now, I, I talked to you earlier about my favorite rye pale ale right now in Ontario. And, I mean, this is a completely different beast from that. This is more a sessionable, you're not looking at like 6.7% alcohol. What was your favorite one? Um, right now, probably the Cameron's are. Yeah, okay. Oh, that's, good. A, that's, that's a great but beer. Completely different beast than this. This is totally, just a yeah. sessionable, easy drinking, beautiful thing. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was oh, just oh, my mom, she wants to vacuum something. <laughs> <laughs> a clean brewery is a happy brewery. Very true. No, this is a this is a very nice session beer. I, I did mean, it. This is, this I've done it. I've done a session beer. Yeah, I could drink this all night long. Well, I mean, session, session, session beer long. is again subjective. What what ABV can you session? A lot. I got a whole range of ABVs I could session. Ten. <laughs> yeah. Well, a lot. I can't. I'm too old for that. I can session ten if I have to. <laughs> Hell, I did the Century Club on a Russian Imperial Stout. Whoa! Wasn't my smartest idea. That's but hardcore. <laughs> sometimes my sessioning requires days off of work, unexpectedly. <laughs> but, but I mean, it happens. I'm a, I'm a like, 3.8 to 4.2 is a great session beer. Yeah. Now you asked what, I mean, I don't know if you actually have to dry hop this. This could, at at this level, I mean, dry hopping it would probably put it more into the range you'd like and more of the beer. beer yeah, but like. that, that's actually what I, what I want to steer. I want to steer away from yeah, like this is actually approachable. Yeah, it's uh, it's still a little hoppy for for them, but it's it's one of those beers like um, like Brimstone's Hail Mary that I talked about, where it's you, I might not love it, you might not love it, you might not love it, but we all can enjoy it together. Yeah, I haven't tried it. I'm sure I'd like no, it. No, no, it's it's just a it's. I don't there's a lot of beers where it's it it's approachable by a macro person and a craft person combined where they both could enjoy it even though they both might not love it because it's, but it's well crafted yeah that that that's that that i think is the key it's something that. that they could go and they could buy a pitcher up put it in the middle of the table <laughs> and even though one of them loves his giant hop beers or stouts and the other one loves his bud they could enjoy it together it's <laughs> great there it is i love it well thanks guys cheers 
out of 10 right now without filtering? Easy, like, okay, <clears throat> I live an hour and a half away from here right now and I'm gonna come pick this up as soon as it's ready, so. <laughs> uh, Are you gonna take half a point off on the MTAP yeah. ready? I probably will, yeah. I'm gonna have to bollock you <laughs> before you leave. <laughs> uh, easy eight, I can't wait to try it again. I'm so stoked for this. Uh, easy eight five for me. Mm. I've always been looking for session beers that I can enjoy and I could, I could, if it's in a 500 milliliter bottle, I could do four or five of them in a night and still wake up and not die. <laughs> or not wish you were dead. True. Well, cheers, guys. I, um, guys. I appreciate the feedback. Honestly, I wasn't you, sure Steve. if I was going to... Uh, you know what would it. be interesting in this? If you actually ended up, because you have a giant batch, if you wanted to play with it, because you talked about casking and all that, caraway seed, play with the uh, play with the rye. That or um, Seeds of Paradise. The, the pepper. Um, I think the, the, the rye... Is, is, this, uh, the rye spice is sort of, um, it's, it's not a hot spice, so I think maybe some hot spice with it might go, but um, yeah, that or, not a big fan of coriander, but I think maybe some... I'm not a big fan of it either, to tell you the truth. That might, it, but it might work in it. You know what actually even might work in this, and both of us talked about not liking it? Clove. <laughs> you're, you're going against your own laurels then. Uh, yo, I'm, I'm it, not a clove guy. It would probably yeah. work in it. Yeah, uh, although we're, we're, we're doing a beer today. Devin and uh, Chad are helping out, uh, uh, and it could very well have a clove taste, uh, depending on what temperature we ferment it at, which I could hate it. <laughs> Thank you, or guys. Love it. Nice. Cheers. Cheers.